Hey guys, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you, Gita? Hey, Umberto, are you working right now? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Are you working? Yeah, I'm still working. Um, yeah, I can double check that because you're not wearing your hat, right? Yeah. Yeah, and the background is different. Yeah, because I'm here. I'm here. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, me too. Oh my God, you're wearing your. Are you wearing your suit? Oh no, right, it's a casual shirt. No, no, without suit. Uh, just a black T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, but you, is, isn't it Anita and Olguita and Patty that Mr. Umberto looks totally different when he's walking? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I uh, Your girlfriend will be with you, right? But in one hour, you will be there. <laughs> That would be yeah. amazing. I'm so happy that even though you're walking, you're still on class. I'm so happy about it. You know what? I'm happy too because I had a day off today. Woohoo! That was amazing. Yeah. Because today's Thanksgiving. Ah, that's uh -huh. right. And I do work for U.S. hospitals and your insurance and facilities. Uh, so they, actually, they don't work today, right? Everybody's closed. So I will I have a day off today. Yeah, go ahead. You celebrate that this day in your home? No, actually no. Um, because here in El Salvador, we do not celebrate that. What we did yesterday, uh, we had like a meeting with all the team, the US team and well, our boss in US and also here in El Salvador and our camp team here in El Salvador. And basically, our boss asked uh, previously uh, last week on Friday that we can buy something or we can cook something, take pictures uh, with the ingredients, right, with the procedure and the final plate, the final dish, and we're going to share. It was a Zoom Thanksgiving <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, because even though some of us uh, prepare food, some of us uh, bought food, etc., but everybody um share the pictures of the food basically mm. and yeah and also we uh, described uh, what is the typical food because basically our um, um our boss is um lives in the states but she's um part from a dominican republic so basically she asked that we can cook three type of dishes dominican republic one or a salvadorian dish or american dish right and then we're going to show the pictures. So this is about what I did. Some of our uh, team uh, cooked pupusas. Some of the bought things of their delicious food. Uh, our boss um, did like a Dominican Republic dish. In my case, I cook beef soup. Beef soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by the yeah. rest here in El Salvador, right? And I showed the ingredients and all of them, the final dish, and also the, my pets, <laughs> because my pets love soup, especially when it's related to <laughs> beef and bones, right? <laughs> so after they finished eating, basically they took a long, long nap. <sighs> Almost two hours, right? So because they're, they enjoy soup as well, and they're so happy about it. So I also shared the picture of my two dogs laying on the bed after the, <laughs> the Bigfoot. Yeah, so I was really happy with, it was like a one hour because we, didn't, we couldn't have a meeting together, right, physically. And uh, so that's why uh, she decided that do it like this way so we can have like Thanksgiving meeting via, it was not Zoom, it was another, uh, another link that she uses to, oh, we call Tim, Tim. I don't know if you have heard about that, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. So we use uh, sometimes we use Teams, sometimes we use another link to to um, to join everybody. Uh, I th we have one or two times a meeting per month. So that's what we did yesterday. Actually, Teams is like a, like a Zoom. Yeah, similar to Zoom. Yeah, but it's yeah. more interactive. Yeah, it's more interactive because we need to be interactive. Yeah because we need to ask a question if we're doubt about something we need to let our boss say you know what this happened this and this and this and this so what should i do should i do this or do that 
sometimes we need to talk with account managers for the facilities. And uh, so we need to be in contact. We use Zoom, we use Outlook as well. So I'm so happy because I have a day off today. Can you imagine? Uh, I, I, what time do you wake up, guys? Because today, to be honest with you, uh, I woke up around 8.30 a.m. For me, it was really nice. What about you guys? At what time did you wake up today? Um, Eduardo, at what time did you wake up today? Hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, sir. Uh, I woke up uh, like 7, 7 in the morning. 7 in 7 the morning? Oh, my God. Yes. That's good. Yes, it's, it's fine. That is it's your almost every day. It's okay, that is almost your... every day. Oh, okay. That is your daily routine. Fine. You wake up uh, yeah, at that time every day. Yes, because uh, I start to work in like 8.30. Oh, morning. that's nice. At 8.30, I have yeah. one hour and a half working already. My shift starts at 7. <laughs> so for me, 8.30 is waking up is amazing. Oh, my God. Did you have already a vacation or no yet? Not yet. Uh, Maybe sooner, right? But uh, Yes, and uh, I used to be to do exercise before, but... Uh, Ah, okay. It's very, it's very complicated because uh, yes. it's very. It's, uh, you do not want I to don't wake know, up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you are in in a mood that you for most that you want is is rest in the rest. morning. Rest exactly. You're right about that. You know what? Uh, doing exercises is, is we have to uh, have a discipline, right? Because it's not easy at the beginning. Yeah, some of uh, us prefer in the, the morning. Mm -hmm. Yes. When the quarantine starts, mm -hmm. I start to be to do exercise you almost started. every day. Okay. Yes, I turn. Yes. But now, no. No, now no. I think we I need to that. like do, <laughs> we need to do it like a day. Maybe you should try another schedule, right, guys? If uh, early morning doesn't work for you, it could be on uh, the afternoon. Or if you have a okay. one hour lunch, you can do like 15 minutes or 20 minutes of exercise. And after that, you can have lunch. <laughs> that would be another idea, right? Yeah. That's a, just yes, an idea, okay. Probably. Probably, right? Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your, uh, what time did you wake up? Guys, okay, we have everybody here, I think so. We have uh, Wendy Vigil. We have Maria del Carmen Colindres. We have Michelle Vidal, Miss Adela. Garcia, yes, we do have Patty, Olguita, Motose. Who's Motose? I don't know. Motose. I don't have you. Hey, who's Motose? No idea, guys? No idea. We're going to figure oh. it out later on. I don't know, maybe it's Naftali, I don't know. We have Olguita, we have Carlitos. Hey, hello, Mercedes. Hey, it's nice to have you back, girl. That's great. Yeah. Good evening. Hey, hey, Motose, what's your name, by the way? So uh, I want to change my name because I I come to the meeting with this name. Ah, because okay. But, but what's your name? I want to change right now. You're going to change it? Okay, because I can change it for you if you wanted to. Okay, what's your name? I can change it right now, if you want. It's Neftali, right? I think so. Or I think he's gonna change it, thank you. Okay, let me, let me wait until he changes. Okay, yes, Neftali. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Neftali, thank you. Melvin is here also. Okay, guys, how are you? How are you today? Are you with energy? More energy than to yesterday? Yeah? Woohoo! Yeah, right? Yeah. Hey, guys, I, I sent a, a message to you through chat, to the WhatsApp group, uh, but I just, um, just to refresh it. Guys, um, by December 17, all the platform exercises should be like finished, right? And hopefully you can get like an 8% 80% of uh, score because um, that's the last day that we have to finish the platform. Okay, just to let you know in advance. Okay, 
Maybe when you check the, uh, the platform, it should say like a different date, but that is not a real date, okay? The data that you finish this is December 17. So please finish the platform before that time, if you don't mind. That would be amazing. And another announcement that I have for you is that this Friday, we're going to have class. <laughs> yes. Okay. I know. Yeah, I know. Yes, Umberto. I know. But you know what? It's because this week, we started on Wednesday. We started yesterday. So we, uh, if we um, have class on Friday, we're going to recover this, this Tuesday, this past Tuesday, we can say that. And next coming week, we're going to have a, a class as well. With the, it means like uh, December the 7th, right? I think, or December the 4th. The 4th of the 7th, I don't know. Let me check. Let me check really quickly. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, December the 4th, yeah. So on December the 4th, we also will gonna have the class and that basically will cover this Monday, okay? So we're going to have two Fridays together classes, okay? I just have to let you know in advance, please. I'm going to be on Friday alone and nobody will be here. No way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just letting you know just for you to make any um, adjustments or something. Okay. It's going to be only for this week's guys, this week and next coming week. Okay. Only for the this, this two consecutive weeks that we're going to have classes on, on Fridays. All right. Melby, what happened, Melby? You have like a question mark face. Is it clear? Do you have any doubts about it? I'm reading, I'm reading Gort's email. Sorry. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I understand. Okay. Oh my God, I feel like the Joker right now. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Have you? Yeah. Remember that? When the Harley Quinn said, "I love you," that's like, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I remember that part. Okay. So that's good. Okay, guys, let me ask you something. Hey, what was the topic that we saw yesterday? Is anybody remembers? Who and that? Who and that, yes. What are they? The relative pronouns. Yeah, Wendy, those are relative pronouns, right? We have more relative pronouns. We have which as well, right? And we have whom as well. But today and just yesterday, we focus on who and that. As Wendy says, relative pronouns. And yesterday, guys, we saw relative pronouns as what? Remember that? A As a subject, exactly. Hey, can somebody give me an, an example? Ah, oh, yes, good. Thank you so much. Well, oh my God, everybody loves to participate. That's amazing. Yeah, all right, let me check. <laughs> any big team? Sorry, any volunteer? Umberto. Hi, sir. Hi. How are you? Fine. Hey, that's nice. Could you please be so kind to give me an example with who on that? Let me give you the two ideas and you're going to combine it, okay? Um, okay. I, I like men. Uh, they are um, smart. Okay? I like men. No man. Man is one, right? Man is more than two, okay? Just one bubble that is different. Remember, Superman, one. Man, more than two. Okay, so I like men. They're very smart. Okay, can you combine that sentences into one using relative classes as a subject? Uh, in my case. No, I give like me give me the example. My, my, I, <laughs> oh, I no, 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 don't worry. We're not going to take it personal. Like, don't worry about that. <laughs> Uh, I like I like girls who who are humble and smart. Very good. Who are humble and smart, basically. Very good. Okay, so Umberto did a uh, sentence. Hello, hello. Yeah. No, 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 I'm joking. Okay, okay, okay. He said, I'm going to write it in the chat, right? I like girls. All right, I like girls who okay, bear with me. Okay, girls. Who you said, right? Who are humble and smart, you said, right? Yeah. All right. Guys, smart is another way to say it, intelligent, okay? And also, there's another word for inte for intelligent, smart, clever. Have you heard the word clever? Clever, yeah? 
Yeah. Clever yes. is also a smart, but it's like smarter, right? It's a superlative way of a smart, okay? Clever. So we have intelligent, smart, and clever. Those are synonyms, okay? Just to let you know. Okay. So I wrote a sentence for you in the chat. I like girls who are humble and smart. Hey, guys, do me a favor. Uh, in that particular sentence, because we combine the relative pronoun as subject uh, to join two ideas into one, remember? We can use who, we can use that. Okay, so the relative pronoun, I like girls who are humble and smart, which is the relative pronoun in this sentence, guys? Who? Who, exactly. Very good. Who? All right. And what are humble and smart? Do you remember? What are they? Are they adjectives? Uh, adverbs? Pronouns? Adjectives. Adjectives. Uh, adjectives. Exactly. Hey, guys. So when we're talking about relative pronouns you, as a subject, and we are using adjectives, so in this case, guys, it's humble and smart are adjectives. We are going to use verb to be, okay? If you are talking about relative pronouns as a subject, but you are using adjectives like humble, smart, remember, serious, right? We saw that yesterday. We are going to use verb to be, okay? That is really important to remember. It could be as affirmative way, and it could be as a negative way. So uh, Ronald could say also, I like girls who aren't as smart and humble, okay? Or humble and smart, okay? So when you're using adjectives uh, in a relative pronouns, you gotta use it with the verb to be, okay? Don't forget that. This is really important. Guys, but we also... Uh, sure. well, before I move on, any questions? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, in, in other case, I, I, I can say... Uh, I can say it or can I say? Can I say, uh -huh. I like girls uh, who have cars, for example. Who have what? Who, who have cars. Ah, uh, yes, you can say it. And that's what I'm going to explain right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's put an example. Ah, uh, you see? Uh, interesado, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Mr. Umberto said, I like girls. He said, well, let me, let me do the sentences uh, separately, and then we're going to join it, okay? He said, I like girls. I like girls. Okay, let me put it here. They have cars, right? You said car, right? Yeah. Okay. They have car. Let's see, this is the two sentences separately. I like girls. They, of course, we're talking about girls, right? The pronouns is to the subject, girl. How car. Okay. I use how because we're talking about they, remember? Plural. Okay. But we we can enjoy we can join the, these two ideas into one using relative clause, remember? Who or that? Okay, so in this case, guys, the relative clause is going to substitute the subject in the second sentence. What is the subject in the second sentence? They yeah. have car. Yeah, exactly. So when you combine it together, when you put who and that uh, as a, and we're using relative pronoun as subject, that that's they, the second subject of the second clause of the second sentence disappears and who or that it is instead of that side it okay let me let me write it right now so you will understand me i like girls always okay i like girls who have a car okay who have a car take a look guys who that is a relative pronoun. Oh, it's relative. Is that correct? Who, right? Yes. Okay, so who is, is substituting what? They. They. Okay, exactly. So we're using who as a subject because we're substituting the subject of the second clause. 
You see that? I like girls who, okay, have car. In this case, guys, a car. Car, is it an object? Is it a noun? Is it an adjective? What is car? Noun. Yeah, very good. So, guys, if you are using a relative pronoun as a subject, which in this case is who, and if you are using a noun, which in this case is a car, right, you can use any other verb, okay? For example, we have this example. I like girls who have a car. In this case, guys, a car, or oh, in this case, car is a noun. Is that correct? Car. Is it a noun? So is this a noun? I'm going to use another verb. I could use have, I could use can, I could use another verb, but I'm not going to use the verb to be, okay? I'm using the verb to be only if I'm, if I'm going to put or if I'm going to explain it the rest of the sentence using adjectives. But if I'm going to talk about a, a noun, which in this case is car, I'm going to use another verb. Are you with me? Jose, Melvin, yes. Helen, are you with me? Melvin, you have a big question mark on your head. Uh, is it understandable, sir? Yes, yes. I, no, no, I no, 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 no. That yes, yes, uh, 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 uh. I don't like that, yes, yes. Okay, tell me, did you understand? Can you give me an example? Neftali. Okay, Neftali is going to give an example. Okay, Neftali, go ahead. I like girls who have tattoos. Who have tattoos. Uh, Very good, okay. Tattoos, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so in that sentence, okay, maybe I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down in two separate sentences, like the same example that I did with, um, with Mr. Um, Umberto. I like girls, okay? Guys, this is the first sentence. I like girls, period. One sentence. Or we can say first class. Second idea. They have tattoos, right? Second idea. Separate. How can I going to join these two ideas into one? Using relative clauses. You can use who or, which is the other one that we're learning right now? That. That, okay. Very good. So, Neftali said, I like girls. What was the other person? Who have tattoos. Who have tattoos. Okay. Very good. So, you can use who or that to join that. Okay. Is it understandable? Melvin, any questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, very good, guys. I have a, a I had a problem actually with uh, the knowledge check because mm -hmm. uh, the sentence said that, for example, I don't like to be with people, mm -hmm. and the other sentence is it was the I don't like to be with people. I don't have a um, I don't have anything in common with uh -huh. this person. Uh -huh. So I I put the sentence, but it was wrong. Ah. And I don't know why. Uh -huh. It's because we haven't seen the second part. Yes? We haven't seen, guys, relative classes of objects. Ah, with uh, objects. Uh -huh. It's different. It's different. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Yes. We haven't seen it as an as an object, so that's the reason why. Okay. Mm hmm. You okay. had a problem, you said, right, with that? Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Anita. Yes, Anita. Tell me what happened. I have a question. Yes. Go ahead with your question before moving on. In, in the case when in the case, yeah. Have in the case when when you use have. Mm -hmm. I I don't know use the verb to be. No, 
because have no. is another verb. Wow. So you cannot use in that in one sentence, you cannot use two verbs. Oh, uh, in okay. this case, two main verbs. No, remember, be, it could be one verb, but at the same time, it could be a, an auxiliary. Remember that? But in this case, have is another verb. For example, oh, you cannot okay. say, allies, girls who are, have, humble, and smart. You cannot say that. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah? Only, only, a, only a bell. Oh, yeah, only one verb, yes. Only one verb, okay. Yes. Okay, let me do something right now. Let's practice that part be before, guys, I move to the second part, okay? Because I want you to practice between you together. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. Um, talk about your friends, okay? Talk about your friends. So uh, let me check how many we are. We are 15, right? So it has to be, uh, I think, uh, two groups of seven, yes? Let me check, yep, okay, cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to divide it right now into groups and you will start talking between each other, but I want you guys to use who or that. Okay, and um, we're going to move on. Just choose, guys, the adjectives. We're going to use it, um, who and that, to talking about adjectives to describe people's personalities, okay? Uh, smart, right, intelligent, um, humble, honest, etc. okay? Adjectives, not physical adjectives. I mean, personality adjectives, okay? Is that good? I will give you five minutes to discuss it. Okay, you don't know who you're going to be with. So I'm going to just send the invitation and please accept the invitation, okay? Let's practice this right now and then we're going to move on with the second part of the relative pronouns. Any questions so far? So far is it good? Easy peasy queasy? Like a piece of cake? Or like horchata? Don't, don't answer, Melvin. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, leave it to your imagination. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, I set the invitation, please, if you don't mind. There you go, and work together as a team, okay? Here you go. Move it, move it, there you go. Okay, Carlitos, very good. Helen, you got us at the invitation. Also, Wendy Vigil and also Helen Mercedes. Patty, you got us at the invitation, girl. Hello. Yes. Excellent. Do you understand what you're going to do? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Can somebody give me an example? Okay. We're talking about friends, right? And people, right? People that we like and uh, adjectives or, or describing personalities. Okay. Okay. Can we use R and R? If you're talking, yeah. Remember that we're using relative clauses as subject. If you're going to use adjectives in the second clause, you have to use verb to be. It could be positive or negative way. Okay? Okay. Okay, Thanks. cool. You're welcome. 
Okay, let me double check right now the other guys and I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay. Hi guys. Okay. Hi. Neftali, I think you raised your hand, right? Uh-huh. Any how's it going, guys? I I want to listen that you speak, okay? okay. For example, uh, let's talk about friends. Um uh in my case, I like people who um are um dynamic and also who love pets. What about you, Eduardo? Okay, I like friends that are uh, funny and trustful. Okay, very good. Hey, everybody is, is uh, agree with Eduardo? Anybody opinion something else? Okay, Adela, what about you? What kind of people do you like? I like men who are attentive. Okay. In, in witty. In witty? Witty, 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 ingenious. Ah, genius. Like, ingenious. Okay, genius. Oh, like smart guys, like clever. <laughs> I can. Oh, oh, you see, guys, she's exigent. Exigent, you know. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay. That's the way that I want you to talk. Okay, let's talk about people that you like. Okay, people that you like to hang out with. Okay, and you see it, guys. Adjectives. Okay, we're going to learn more adjectives to describe personalities. That's what we're going to learn also today. But I want you guys to use the adjectives that you know so far, okay? Let me double check the other guys and I'll be right back with you, okay? Speak. This is the speaking time. Okay. All righty. Patty, what happened? You couldn't get in? Teacher, my computer is uh, off. It's frozen? I know, I don't know. Uh, Reinicie, no sé cómo se dice. Reinitiate it. Reinitiate it. Okay, I, I send you again the invitation. Just let me know if you receive it, please. Uh, okay. What happened, Michelle? My internet has some problems, so I don't know why, but uh -huh. I, I like the, the meeting. Okay, don't worry. I already sent you an invitation, so you can just log in into the other groups. Okay, just okay, accept the invitation. You. You're welcome. Okay, how was it? The experience, guys, was it good? Oh, that's a little baby boy, Helen. Okay, very good. Now, guys, 
Any anybody has an um like questions about relative pronouns as subjects? Is every, is everything clear? I have a question. I knew it. Go ahead, sir. Can you use relative clauses with skills or capabilities, physical capabilities? Mm, physical capabilities, like for example, give me an example. Play football. Uh -huh. I like girls that play football, right? That play football. Yeah, okay. you can use it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. Thank Very you. good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, guys, let me share my screen right now with them. Hey, are you able to see it? I want everybody here. All right. Okay, guys, this is what we have seen so far, okay? Now, do me a favor. Just focus on the second size, so the second part, as the object of a clause. Who can help me read it? Oh, thank you so much. And let me check it out. No, 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 no. Helen Mercedes, are you able to help me read this part, please? I I can see the, the you, you cannot screen. see it. Perfect. Okay. I'm trying to connect. Oh, that's phone. okay. Understand. Uh, Melvin, yeah. what about you? I'm okay. Go ahead, please, sir. Match the information. No, just the part that's, that is in orange color, please. Okay, okay. As the object of a clause, mm -hmm. I prefer someone who, that, I have fun with. Mm -hmm. I prefer someone who, that, I can talk to easily. Mm, okay, very good. Hey, take a look at these guys as an object. You see, we use another verb. No, we, what we use, guys, I prefer someone. I prefer someone. Hey, guys, what is this? What is this? It's a contraction of what? Wood. Wood. And what is wood? Is it a verb, an adverb, an adjective, a noun? Uh-huh. I think it's a verb, no? It's, it's a verb, yes, but what kind of verb Model? is it? Model verb. Model Very verb. Model verb. Exactly. Okay, so as guys, as an object, one of the things that changes is that we use a model verb, which in this case is would, okay? And then guys, we have another verb here. What is the verb? What is the verb? Prefer. 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 Yeah, Prefer. very good. Okay, very good. So this is the sec. This is one sentence, right? I prefer someone, and this is the second sentence, guys. I have fun with. Okay. In the second sentence or in the second class, do me a favor. What is the verb here? Oh. Have. Very good. Okay. And what is the um, subject here? I. Uh-huh. Very good. Okay. All right. So, guys, take a look at this one. In these two, we have a different subject, one of it. In these two sentences, separately, don't look at this right now. Okay, don't look at this right now. I'm going to scratch it. I'm going to scratch it because I don't want you to take a look at this right now. You have, you see, each class has its own subject. Is that correct? Separately. I would prefer someone. I have fun with. Okay. As an object, guys, do me a favor because these two sentences has a different verbs. One of them uses a model verb and a main verb, and the other one uses a verb half. Okay. But guys, do... Take a look. In these two sentences, the second sentence here, let me take a look at the second clause. Hey, can you see, guys, that we are not using verb to be? Or, or we are using verb to be? No. No. So as a, another difference as an object is that we are not going to use the verb to be. And we're going to use the model verbs. And there is another characteristic. Guys, do me a favor. I'm going to scratch it. 
I'm going to raise it and I'm going to ask somebody who read it again for me. Okay. Let me check. Okay, Melvin, do me a favor. Read for me the sentence without pronouncing who on hat, please. I prefer someone I have fun with. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now do me a favor. Uh, read the sentence again using who or that, please. I prefer someone who have fun with. Again, with that, please. I prefer someone. I prefer someone that I have fun with. Okay, guys, do me a favor. If I read the sentence without using who or that, or if I read the sentence using who or that, does the meaning of the sentence changes? Yes or no? Yes. Are you sure? Let me read it for you. I prefer someone I have fun with. I prefer someone who I have fun with. I prefer someone that I have fun with. Did that change? Yes or no? No. 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 So that's why, guys, who and that are in parentheses. Because you can use it or you cannot use it and you do not change the meaning of the sentence. So that is the other difference when we're using relative pronouns as objects of a clause. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it clear, yes, guys? Sir. Yes. Who? Adela, no. Yes. In uh -huh, this it. case, uh -huh. uh, use the, pers the personal pronoun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. When when you use who or that, uh, only add who or that in, yes. in yes. this sentence. In this sentence, yes. Th there is another relative pronoun, Adela, which is uh, which I mentioned before, whom and which, okay? Mm -hmm. But right now we're not seeing it, okay? We're just focusing on these two relative pronouns, who and that. That okay? sound. Mm-hmm. Who is repeat the the pronoun I in the first clubs uh -huh. I uh -huh. I prefer mm -hmm. in, in the second I have exactly that is very good observation Adela okay guys this Adela said something right that we you see guys we repeat the pronoun right you see that. You see it or you don't see it? Yes. But, yes. but in this one, do we repeat it? No. 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 You, you see? So this that's why it's really important. I want you guys to focus and to understand how you use it in order for you to use it well. Okay? Do me a favor. We're going to practice this right now. And uh, I want you guys to practice individually. Oh, no, let's practice in groups right now. I'm going to send it to you this information here on the section eight, but do me a favor. Um, let me check. Carlitos, could you please be so kind to read these instructions for me? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Carlitos, okay. The information in columns eight, then compare with a partner. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do. We have the information in column A. We have seven sentences. And what you gotta do is to match, or in this case, completes, okay? These guys, this, this is like if we are talking about this part, okay? This part, okay? Or this part, okay? So guys, what I'm going to, what I want you to do is that to match this, a from A to G letters, which one corresponds to this part? Am I make myself clear? Entendieron? See? Yes. yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay. 
I send it to you right now, guys. Do me a favor. Let me know if you receive it, please. You did? Yes. Yep. Cool. Okay. Okay, so let's join together, okay? I want you guys to work in pairs right now, okay? And then you're going to discuss the information. Let me check. We are 17. Okay. Okay, guys. Please accept the invitation. I'm going to send Maria Colindros into another group. Work together, okay? We have um, three minutes to complete it. Don't fall asleep, Melvin. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, yes, Ronald Umberto. Anita, please accept the invitation. Alan Mercedes, has she hasn't joined it? There we go. Okay, Anita can you, Rosales. Can you, can you send? Okay, please. One more Okay. I I think I sent it to you already. Okay, I'm missing Melvin. You gotta join it. Do you have problems right now? Yeah. Okay, Maria's here. Two? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. We have much. Exactly. Just, if you want to, you can put like just the letters, right? For example, number yes. one is letter D, et cetera. Okay, yes, that's what I want. Okay, you have three minutes to do that. Okay, let me go back to the other groups and double check if they have uh, questions. You're doing great, guys. Excellent job. Ronald, you gotta you gotta join the group, okay? Okay. Is everything but it's okay? Yeah, do you understand what you're going to do? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, How many sister. did you finish already? No. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. No. You only have to put the letters. Come on. Yeah. For example, let me give you an example. Okay, let me check. No um, number two, no I enjoy teachers who or that can me understand things easy. Very good. So I need to say that. Yeah, very good. We're going to practice the pronunciation as well, okay? But that's good. Like, that's what I want you to do. Just put the letters, okay? That's easy. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to practice, okay? Okay. Okay, cool, guys. You have one minute left. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the number three is a letter. Letter B. Yes. Yes. Finish. I respect. Finish. Seven. I like to meet people. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Yes. Did you finish? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Number seven. Yes. Ah, very Never good. Oh, it's Never okay. Okay, we're about to join in three seconds, okay? Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh my god, you see Jose Ramirez, he's so focused. He's like, okay, teacher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I I I yes, I forgive you because I know that you're working. I cannot hear you. The microphone. Sorry, I lost the, the connection. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, I understand. Is it raining when you're are working right now? I, I, I don't know. I can I can see it that oh it's yeah. Raining. Yeah. Uh, you don't feel it either, right? Because you're inside. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes it is that, or sometimes it's the provider uh that has problems because yesterday I have problems no with my internet, it, my my router and everything was working fine, but Claro, had, uh, because that's my internet with Claro, and uh, they got like a sun problems with that. So that's why I was like, oh my God, yes. But I, 
I found a solution today. Very good. And also because Melvin enjoyed the class yesterday, so also there was a we had an internet problem. I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, cool. Let's practice, okay? Letter number one is over there, okay? So we're not going to mention that. But let's focus on number two. Who can help me read it? Okay, thank you so much, Eduardo. Can you please read for me number two? Everything together. Eduardo. Hi, Eduardo, where have you been? Eduardito, where are you? Okay, so sorry, 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 okay. I, I lost. The you connection. lost the connection, okay. Okay, so number two, okay, go ahead. Number two, okay, wait, please. No, okay, <laughs> yes. Good. Number two, I, en I enjoy teachers who, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who? Call me the letter A. Uh huh. Call me understand things easily. Very good. So do me a favor. Now read it again, but fluently. Okay. I love teachers who. Okay. I enjoy teachers who call me understand things easily. Very good. Is everybody agree? Yeah. Cool. Number three, Adela. Go ahead. I prefer a roommate who. Who oh. oh, is quiet, considerate, and near? Okay, and, and neat. You know what and neat? Neat. Uh, neat. Somebody asked yes. me that. Teacher, how do you say ordenado in English? Neat. Neat. Okay? Yes. neat. That's the word. Very good. Okay. Very good. Is everybody agree with her? Yeah. Cool. Number three. Number four. Sorry. Uh, Patty, go ahead. Okay. I don't like to be with people who um, I don't fit comfortable around. Very good. Comfort comfortable or comfortable? Comfort comfortable. 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 Comfortable yes. around. Exactly. So I don't like to be with people who I don't feel comfortable around. Go ahead. Say it again. You can do it. Okay. Okay. I don't like to be with people who are that. I don't feel comfortable around. Comfortable. 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 I know, I know. It's because most of the people say com comfortable, comfortable. No, but it's Comfo comfortable. But it's comfortable. 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 Yes, very good. I know. It's hard. Do it one more time. You can do it, Pati. You can do it. Okay, I don't like to be with people who I don't feel comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. I don't know. Repeat, please. You said, you, look at me. Comfortable, comfortable. Okay, that, now do me a favor. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. And say with tus manos. Show me your hands. Okay. Show me your fingers. Okay. Do me a favor. Do this. Comfortable. Comfortable. Hey, very good. Okay, repeat it. Right. Comfortable. Yes, now do me a favor. Read for me the whole sentence once again. Okay. I don't like to be with people who I don't feel comfortable around. Yeah, very good. That's the girl. Comfortable that I around. Yeah. Give me don't fall, girl. You see? I knew it. Fingers never lie. Comfortable. Okay. Yeah, excellent dog, girl. Yeah. Thank you. You make me feel like dancing. Ooh, and you broke my heart. Hey, very good. Excellent. Good job. Who else? <clears throat> I want to participate. Helen Mercedes. I want to hear your beautiful voice, girl. Uh, number. Okay. Uh, number five, please. Okay. Yes. I discuss my problem with friends mm -hmm. who can give me a good advice. Yeah, very good. Who can give me good advice. Excellent job. Olguita Ramirez, what about number six? What you got for us? This is using as an object, okay? Check it out. Okay, number six. Mm -hmm. oh. I like oh, to I, I like to have to boss. No, I like to have a boss, a boss. I I like to have about 
Mm -hmm. Who are respect and the leader? Who are respect, respect as a leader? As a leader. A leader. As a leader. Is a leader. As a. Repeat after me. As a leader. As a leader. Now, now together. As a. As a leader. As a leader. As a leader. Okay. Now together. Everything together. Uh, Olguita. I love to have a boss. I like. I like, like I like to have a boss who I res I respect as a leader who who respect as a leader who I respect who, right who I respect who I respect as a leader one more time una vez más you can do it all together who like to have who like to have a no. boss I like to have a boss. Otra vez, I like to have a boss. I like to have a boss. Who? Who mm -hmm. I respect I respect as a leader. Very good. Excellent job. Great job, girl. And last but not least, number seven. Neftali, we went to a drug, man. Neftali. Okay. Number wish. seven, please. Yes, number seven, please, if you don't mind. Uh, I can I cannot see that. Oh yeah, yeah! I sent it through the WhatsApp. Are you in the WhatsApp group already? No, Miss. Ah, I you don't. see. No estás. Okay, uh, please join the WhatsApp group, and I'm going to send it uh, today. Okay, in the after class. Okay. Hey, miss. Okay. Do me a favor, mm, Carlitos. I know you want to participate. You were like, when is going to be my turn? That now is your turn. Go ahead. Number I seven, like please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like to meet people who I have nothing in common with. With or with? With. 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 Look at my mouth. With. With. No, 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 me está diciendo bruja. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Which? Like, you are a witch. <laughs> no, normalmente las brujas son feas y no es por nada, pero yo no soy tan peor. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, no, I'm just dizzying you. No, imagínate que le dicen which, le dices tú a una chica. What are you talking about? No way. Okay. Ajá. O tú le dices a tu esposa which, no hombre. Ahí sí te mandan a dormir con el perro. No way. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, repeat after me. With. With. Egg, that's the other one. You see? The tangle with. is between the two groups of teeth. With. With. No, okay. again, no me digas which. With. Come on. Vaya pues, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, do it, okay, do it, you can do it. Okay, I like to meet people who I have nothing in common with. Very good, excellent, woohoo! You see, no, thank you. You see, now maybe you, you pronounce like an exaggerated word, like with, you're like with, right? <laughs> and maybe you have an umbrella in front, but because you are like Sylvester, right? But right now, maybe you feel exaggerating, but if you practice it, now it will come as like friendly. You're going to say, I like to talk to people who have nothing in common with. You see? But I do not exaggerate it because my mouth is already used to the pronunciation. But if you pronounce it in practice, you will be like that, okay? Say it again. One more time, please. With. No, but the whole sentence, come on. <laughs> Okay, I like to meet people who I have nothing in common with. Very good. I was about like, don't say which, don't say which. <laughs> yeah, but very good, excellent. Great job, guys. Okay, you see, you're so nice. Okay, guys, and also what we're going to learn, let me show you something else. Let me check. I'm going to share also my screen with you guys because I want you to learn more vocabulary in regards to uh, personalities, okay? If everybody can see it? Yes, yes or no? Okay. Yeah. All right, any other guys? Um. um I don't know, any other adjectives that you know about personalities? Any other adjective? No? Personalities. Sociable. 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 
sociable, energetic. sociable. What else? Energetic. What? Energetic. Energetic, you said? Energetic, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Another another uh, personality adjective? Inspire, inspiring. Inspiring. Inspirador. Uh, inspiring. 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 Ajá, no me digas, no me digas araña, eh, spider. <laughs> All right, okay. Imagínense, witch y spider. Si hubiéramos entrado en el 31 de octubre, qué bárbaro. I'm just kidding. Okay, another uh, another um, adjective to describe personality, guys. Personality. Egoistical. What? Egoistical. Oh, sorry. Egoistical. Okay. Mad. Mad. Okay, what is mad, guys? What is mad? Malvado. Mad. Are you sure? Mad. Like angry. Hey, yes, angry. Very good. Very good. That is a synonym of angry. Okay? Okay. Exactly. Mad no es malvado. Evil. Evil, sí, podría Mad. ser, pero ese sí es como ya, ya más demoníaco, ¿eh? Ya oh. que ya, ya, ya estos coches serios, ¿eh? Ya como... <laughs> Ush. What? What? Worst. Worst. Ajá, pero más que todo worst, eh, no, lo, no lo describes para una personality, sino es más que todo para una situation, ¿ok? Pero sí, sí es un adjetivo, pero mo, no para personas. Pero está bien, Neftali. Very good. Any, anybody else? ¿No? Easy going. Easy going. Uh, easy going. What is easy going? Guys, easy going. Uh, easy going. Uh, no, no, that relaxes uh, calm, but easy yeah. going, guys, is a synonym of friendly, okay? Friendly. Of friendly, oh. of sociable. Easy going is like we say in Spanish, buena onda. Buena onda, easy going, que es una persona fácil de llevar, ya? Llevadero. Llevadero. Thank you. Yes, ya ven que ahí está my Spanish translator and support, <laughs> Mr. Jose Ramirez. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. Hey, did you like the class today? It was really fun, right? Yeah. Melvin casi se duerme, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Very good. Okay, so we're going to continue tomorrow talking about this, and we're going to introduce another topic as well. Okay, guys, this is going to be your homework. Aha, uh -huh. you forgot the homework, right? But the teacher no. Uh -huh. no no all right no mm -hmm. no. Okay. no you did it Melby, thank you maybe go ahead give me one yeah. sentence only one and we're going to continue tomorrow with the sentence oh no 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 no, no. Don't, don't 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 do me a favor now that we learned about <clears throat> relative pronouns as objects I want you guys to translate that information that you did as an audit. Okay? Not all of them. But give me two or three sentences and we're going to discuss everything tomorrow. Melvin, don't look at me like that. Like, hmm. <laughs> so you have a lot of work to do, right? Look at Helen's face like, oh, yeah. Isn't it amazing? We need to work these days because I'm not going to give you homework on weekend, okay? So we're going to work hard Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to have our weekends off, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. It was nice to have you once again. Please study and do me a favor. Your homework will be this one as well. Think about more adjectives that we can use to describe people's personalities. Okay, that is going to be your homework for tomorrow, okay? Okay, guys. Okay. Hacks, kisses. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, Good night, everybody.